Um, you've been in politics before. How do you see uh, politics in Ghana then and now? I think that there has been deterioration in the political atmosphere. I'll tell you what. Nkrumah brought about a one-party state. And that brought about his own downfall. In 66, he was overthrown. Now, the Akufado Commission that was asked to draft, make a draft constitution for Ghana, looked at that point and tried to forge a system whereby there should not be concentration of power in an individual any longer. Unfortunately, in 92, we brought that matter back again over concentration of power in one person. 92 means the current the constitution. The current constitution, yes. We have brought back that concentration of power. But I believe that this was done because the PNTC, the young men who were following President Rawlings, had their own self-interest that when he has the power, he'll get the positions and, and jobs. And therefore, that was the reason why this concentration of power again appeared back in our party. And so you see that there is so much self-interest by people who are involved in politics. But as I've said somewhere else, this is where national interest is put aside. And every time it's a personal interest. So you see the parties are always bickering. And oftentimes I have to stop and ask them a simple question. I say, why can't you just put your party cloaks down? And look at yourself as Ghanaians, looking at Ghana as a country for all people, no matter what party or tribe they belong to, so that we can work together to build a solid country. Mm. As you said earlier on, the Jerusalem, the peace of Jerusalem, peace of Jerusalem is peace for who? It's peace for the all, all Jews. Indeed. You notice that at the time of Solomon, they said gold was so plenteous that nobody wants a silver coin. The cedar wood was so plenty and nobody wants an acacia wood. That's the prosperity we are talking about. That when the nation prospers, everybody in the nation prospers in that cross context. But here, when somebody wants to do something, it's like well, if he succeeds, it means that I will not come into power. Mm. And so let me pull him down. Mm. Instead of rather encouraging him. Because sometimes I said, the election process, you'll be amazed that it's not always that because you've got a good policy, you are going to win an election. Mm. People have different ideas as to why they win. So this is the danger yes. that we have.